is Joe here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you all the books I read in July. For the first time in I don't know how many months, I finally read over two books. In the month of July, I read a total of five books, which makes me really happy because like I said, it's been a while since I've done that. I read three physical books and two ebooks, and I'm really excited to tell you about them. The first book that I completed in July was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I rated this a 5 out of 5, and I also made a video about it, so if you want to know any of my thoughts about this book, go click down in the description. I will leave a link. Go watch that video. If you don't want to watch the video, I will do a quick little summary of my experience. I really enjoyed this book, obviously, since I rated it a 5 out of 5. There are a lot of things I obviously want to talk about, but I specifically specifically made another video for that, so like I said, go watch it if you want to know more. The next two books I read, I read for The Reading Rush, which I did try to do a vlog for it, but I had only vlogged the first day because the rest of that week I literally was so busy I hadn't read anything besides the first day. So I will not be posting that vlog specifically because there pretty much wasn't one that I made. The two books I read were Everland and Umberland by Wendy Spinal. I rated this book a 4 out of 5 and I rated this book a 3 out of 5. This obviously is a series series that I pretty much enjoyed. There's a third book that I'm going to get to. I just have to buy it. It's pretty much a retelling of Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland. And then the third one goes into Wizard of Oz. All in the same storyline, just different characters from different worlds, which I actually really enjoyed reading about. I rated Everland a 4 to 5 because I really enjoyed the characters and storyline and I definitely read this in one day. It was, very, it was a very interesting story and I'm sure a lot of other people that like Peter Pan will enjoy it. I rated Umberland 3 out of 5 because one of the main characters from the first book had started acting completely different and I honestly hated it. I didn't like that character to be honest and I wish that that character would have acted the way that they would have in the first book and it just made the second book really confusing. There were other main characters that came into play in the second book which were new aka the whole Alice in Wonderland cast. From the Alice in Wonderland cast, I really liked their storyline and how the story was being played out through their characters. The only part about this book that I didn't like was the characters switching from the first book to the second book and how they were acting. The two ebooks that I read were Oppressed and Suppressed by Kira Sato. I have been reading these books for a while now, or at least a series. I rated both these books a 4 to 5. I really enjoyed continuing on with the story. I have two more books to read, which I will be telling you guys about in a different video, but like I said, I really enjoyed these books. They had kind of a little bit of a different take from the first three books in the series, but the writing was still there and the author had similar writing throughout the entire series, which I really enjoyed. Sometimes when it comes to series, the writing switches a little bit because of often they publish and how their writing changes throughout the years, but I really enjoyed that this writing was very similar. She brought in a couple different storylines from different kinds of like past and present, and I really enjoyed that. It's That's not a spoiler because in this series it takes place in New Orleans and it's kind of like a magical series that you learned a lot about. So there are a lot of magical aspects that go into the series so nothing that I said right now is a spoiler. The first book in the series is Bound and I highly recommend you read this series. It is a self-published author and she is absolutely amazing. I love all of her books and I think you guys definitely need to read some of these books. Alright you guys I finally had a successful month in my eyes for the first time in a while. I don't remember the last time I read more than two or three books. It's definitely been a while. Thank you guys so much for watching and do me a favor and comment down below what books you read in July or make any comments about the books I read in July. If you want to discuss any books that I've read, comment down below with a spoiler if it is a spoiler and I will definitely talk back to you. I do like to discuss the books that I've read so like I said feel free to comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Although they will definitely be changing because I am going to college so we'll see how my channel changes in that. You'll see more videos like this. I will see you next time guys. Bye!